I was just saying that. Tell me some skin. He zoomed. Now, the track around the big bend. In and out of the clock tower. And up to Bash Bash. And Fernand's shed. I wonder why their shed couldn't be on Misty Hump. Here, don't. Just then, their doors fell you. Oh, hi, Thomas, said Fernand. What's going on today? Got any fever? No, said Thomas. I'm just coming to visit. Well, then, hello. Come in. Fernand, there's not enough room in here, said Dash. Oh, come on, Dash, said Fernand. Let's just tell us leave it by the door. Okay, said Thomas. I wish we could participate. Where's Misty Hutch? Not so darn. Thomas thought about what all the diesel had said did to Diesel. He he felt like saying, Well, too bad, you're not a steamy you're not um, a soda engine, so you can't participate. But then Thomas wanted to feel kind. And he said, don't feel sad. Of course you can participate. A soda engine or not, you can participate. All you want. You can participate all you want, said Thomas. Steamy or not. And anyway, you might even win. Goodbye now. He whistled by again. Doot doot. He flew down the track and in the mountains. Just then he saw something horrible. It was the evil. He looked sad. He was shot with loads of chocolate trucks up. Evil side. This is the worst day of my life. He, Thomas heard him say. Two. For the contest, said Percy. Me too. But I thought you wanted to be silver someday. I know, said Percy, but gold is my favorite color. Thomas knew his favorite color was gold too. But my favorite color is silver too and green, said Percy. Percy went on for a few minutes telling Thomas his favorite color. Eventually, Percy had told Thomas every color in the universe that was every color in the world was Percy's favorite color. Wow, said Thomas. Great, he said sarcastically. Come on, Percy, we're going to win. Come on, Percy. And he went to find these. Thomas and Percy zoomed up the, the big shaky bridge. Uh, so do our search and rescue radar was pointing right at them. It looked scary. Thomas backed up. 
Just then it fell down. It revealed Diesel with a whole bunch of freakers. Oh, this is the heaviest train I've pulled in my life, said Diesel. He was holding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen cars. Oh dear, said Thomas. Why should Diesel have to be doing this? Diesel stopped. He, the train let go. And it all crashed down onto the cliff. Yeah, smash. And Diesel was derailed. 